there, boys and girls. I've just been drawn here on the magic window, which is you're gonna what you're gonna do in just a while too. You'll draw at home, but we want to welcome you back to another half hour of drawing and fun and games on your program, Winky Dink and You. Now you know on the past programs we've had lots of fun drawing things like that and and making things, but today I promise you that we're going to have more. Hey, what in the world? Well, anyway, I promise you that today we're going to have more. What in the world is going on around here? Smile, please. Hey, what? All right, enough's enough. Let's find out what Winky's up to now. Come on. Watch the birdie now. What are you doing, Winky? Taking pictures? Would you like me to take your picture, huh? Pictures took five cents? Mm. Well, I guess I can afford that, all right. Sure, I'd like you to. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Now, just stand there. Well, here? Uh-huh. Like this? Uh, no, no. A little further back. Uh, like uh, this? Is this better? Huh? Um, How do I look? All right? Further huh? back, Jack. Fur further back? Mm-hmm. Um, well, all right, if you say so. Uh... How's that? Uh, oh, hi, hey, Winky! Oh, oh, Winky, what uh -oh. happened to me? That's oh, too far, Jack. Oh, Goodbye. Oh, oh, look what happened to me, Winky. Look what you did to me. Oh, that Winky. Well, boys and girls, it's time for us to get down to business. The business of playing Winky Dink. Now, you boys and girls who have your kits, it's time to get your magic windows up. Well, I'll straighten myself out here a little bit. That Winky. Suppose we take a look at a special friend of mine. Her name is Helen, and she lives in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Hey, uh, hi, Helen. That's right. Now, let's watch her as she puts up her magic window. Now, Helen's unpacking her Winky Dink kit right now. She's getting out her magic crayons and her erasing cloth. And now she's going to get out her magic window. And you do just as she's doing, boys and girls. Watch her now. Watch and see. You'll see she rubs her magic window. And you do that, too. That's where we get some of our magic into the magic windows. You see how she rubs it? Fine. Now she's going to put her magic window right up on the screen of the television set. That's right. And you do it just the way she does, boys and girls. It's very important. Now press it out like she does from the centers to the corners so that it becomes smooth. And so you notice how that plastic is lightly tinted? That makes it much easier to watch our television show, even for your parents. Okay, Helen. See you a little later. Hope you have a good time today. Now, boys and girls, we're all set to play Winky Dink. But before we play, I must once again remind you, you must share your Winky Dink kits. Right now, I want you to split up your crayons. Okay? One of you take the black and the red, and the other take the yellow and the green. Oh, Jack! Right now. Oh. Jack! Oh, right. Yeah, Link. I want you to look at some of the pictures I've taken. They're in the family album. Oh, I'd be glad to. My uh, goodness, but uh, I'm certainly not going to pose for any more pictures for you. Oh, <laughs> you'll change your mind, mm -mm. Jack. Yep. Oh, come on. Just look at the sample. All right. All right, Winky. Here's Winky's family album. Winky's family. His aunts, uncles, cousins, and friends. Faces, charming, smiling faces. Happy, happy, happy people. Happy? Who's happy? I say, look at me. Look at me. I say, it's terrible. Well, what's terrible, Cousin Slim? Huh. Why don't I... I say, why don't I look handsome? Why don't I look handsome, I say? Well, now, don't get excited, Cousin Slim. The boys and girls at home are going to help you out. Boys and girls, whoever has the magic red crayon, come right up to the magic window because I want you to do some drawing. Get comfortable. Come on up to the magic window and draw a red flower in Cousin Slim's buttonhole, right on his jacket. Huh. I've got such a, I say, I've got such a handsome face. Huh. Some camera doesn't even take a picture, I say, doesn't even take a picture of my handsome face. All right, now, all right, don't worry. The boys and girls are going to help you look handsome. Now, boys and girls, are you putting that nice red flower right on his jacket? Fine, good. My, oh my, sending a man, I say, sending a man into the world like this, why, it's terrible. I say, it's, it's terrible. Well, for goodness sakes, why don't you straighten your bow tie? Yeah, well, I'll sure. fix it up a little bit. Straighten up that bow tie a little bit, will you? Fine. All righty. Very good. All right, well, now you look a little terrible. better now. Well, what seems to be the trouble now, Cousin Well, I tell Slim? you, I say, uh, I say, I can't smell the flower, that's why. Well, we'll give the boys and girls a chance to fix the flower a little better, and then maybe you can smell it. Well, what you do you mean you can't smell it? Why not? You know, Winky didn't even take, I say, Winky didn't take a picture of my nose, that's why. <laughs> oh, well, boys and girls, if you've finished drawing the flower, and I'll give you another second or so, draw that nice red flower. Now, whoever has the black crayon, please give Cousin Slim a nose. 
Come on up to the magic windows and get ready to draw. That's right, and draw Cousin Slim's nose for him right above his mustache. The idea, why, pretty soon, uh, pretty soon they'll be, I say pretty soon they'll be calling me No-Nose. <laughs> How does that sound? No-Nose Slim. Well, the boys and girls are giving you a nose, Slim. Yeah, well, make it cute as a button now. No, no, don't draw a button, kids. Draw a nose. <laughs> I think they're doing a fine job. That's right, boys and girls. Keep drawing. Very good. That's a real nice nose they're drawing you. Nice? What's nice about it? I, boy, I, uh, uh, shoo, uh, well, uh, Gesundheit, what's the matter? Uh, every time I know, I say every time my nose gets near flowers, I, I, that's you! <laughs> Gesundheit! That's you! Well, get rid of the nose, get rid of the fly, I say get rid of everything! Uh, all right, all right, you. all right. I'm afraid that you're much that's too hard you. to please. That's you! My cousin Slim, we're just going to have to you. leave you. Well, Aunt Martha, so good to see you again. Did Winky take a picture of you, too? <laughs> Yes, but he had a little difficulty with a camera. Well, difficulty with his camera? My eyebrows. His camera just refuses to take pictures of my eyebrows. Well, Aunt Martha, I think it would be nice if you did have eyebrows. Now, boys and girls, whoever has the magic black crayon, I want you to come up to the magic window right now. Come on up, get comfortable. That's fine. And let's draw eyebrows on Aunt Martha, just above her eyes. Any sort of eyebrows you think she should have. Use your imagination. You know what eyebrows look like. A straight line over each eye. That's fine. Very good. Draw it carefully so it doesn't cover the eye. Oh, 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 thank you. A young man, if it isn't too much trouble. Yes, Aunt Martha. Uh, uh my pearl necklace. I'd love to have it in the picture. Well, we'd be very happy to oblige, Aunt Martha. So, boys and girls, whoever has the magic yellow crayon, just draw a necklace of pearls around Aunt Martha's neck. Oh, wonderful. I'm sure I look like the most beautiful creature in the entire world. Well, uh, that's fine, boys and girls. Keep on drawing. Very good. Very good. I think that you have to thank the boys and girls who have their Winky Dink kits for making you so good looking. <laughs> Love those children. Love them, love them, love them. Well, um, I hope that you're happy, but we're sorry, Aunt Martha, because we have to go now. Oh. Bye. See you soon. Goodbye, good man. Bye. <laughs> see you again sometime. Well, Captain Muscle Man, the strong man, nice to see you. Uh, a strong man in a circus, and here I am with pearls around my neck. I'm just going to keep my eyes closed and hope that nobody recognizes me. <laughs> Boys and girls, I tell you what, let's erase the pearls from around Captain's neck, huh? Take your erasing cloth and wipe off the pearls. Yeah, into the garbage heap with them. Pearls are for girls. Yeah, we'll keep on erasing, boys and girls. You don't have to erase too hard. Remember that. Not too hard. That's fine. That's good. I'm glad you're all taking turns erasing, too. The pearls are off now. How do you feel, Captain? Huh. Where is my pipe? Let me ask you, where is my pipe? Well, I don't know. Where is your pipe? That's a silly question. If I knew where it was, would I ask you? <laughs> if you want a pipe, you'll have one. Boys and girls, whoever has the green crayon, come on up to the magic window right now with your green crayon and get ready to draw. Now let's draw the pipe in the captain's mouth. Yeah, uh, and make it, a, make it a good pipe, too, kids. That's right. The boys and girls who have their Winky Dink kits will give you a nice green pipe. But you have to keep your mouth still. You talk too much. Uh, you be careful what you say. I'll, I'll, I'll make spaghetti out of you. I'll turn you into hamburger. You better be quiet if you want that pipe. Yes, sir. Now, boys and girls, just you know how to draw a pipe, don't you? Just a straight line from the captain's mouth and then a little bowl at the end of it, a circle or a square. I'm sure you've seen your dad or your brother smoking a pipe. Hey, that's, that's very good. You're doing fine. Very good indeed. Have you finished the pipe up? Ah, gee whiz. I think you've drawn a fine pipe. Well, it's very good. Uh, Captain, how about a light to try out your new pipe, huh? Uh, where's, don't, where's don't that mind if I do. Where's uh, that bowl? It must be around here someplace. There. That ought to take care of it. Yes, fine. Uh, very that's good. Fine. Your pipe all lit, Captain well, Muscleman? Now I can relax. Well, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. 
<laughs> I'm trying very hard to light it, but doesn't it doesn't seem to light. Oh, no. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Well, the boys and girls didn't draw such a good pipe at that. Well, I tell you what, maybe we didn't have, you don't have the right kind of tobacco well, in it, huh? that's the answer. No tobacco. Sure, yeah. sure. Well, when you get tobacco, make sure it's strong. That's the kind of bet you want to use, huh? Sure, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, well, we'll see that you get some strong tobacco, but we can't spend much more time with you, so we'll see you some other time, okay? Well... Now, uh, boys and girls, those are some of the pictures that Winky took. <laughs> I'm really a good photographer, huh, Jack? Good photographer. Just look at that magic window, Winky. Mm -hmm. Eyebrows, nose, flowers. All those things your camera did not take a picture of. Do you see all that? Oh, sure, buddy. No excuses. Mm -hmm. All right, boys and girls. Winky has seen all the things that he left out when he took the pictures, so get out your erasing cloths right now, and let's erase our magic windows. Let's see how our friend Helen does it. Hey, that's fine, Helen. All of you boys and girls erase just the way Helen does, will you? Don't press too hard. It's not necessary. These are magic crayons, and they come off easily. Just take your time, but make sure you get your magic window clean and clear. Fine. Thank you, Helen. That's swell. That Winky. Next time he wants to take my picture, he's going to have to pay me. Jack! Well, yes, Winky? Oh, Jack, you're not being nice. I am a good photographer. Mm, your cousins don't agree with you. Well, gee, Jack, I've got to learn how to take pictures somehow. Yes, but look at the kind of pictures you take. Well, maybe I'll become an automobile mechanic. Instead. Well, I'm a Beale mechanic. Uh -huh. Do you know anything about cars? Huh? Uh -huh. Have you ever fixed one in your whole life? Oh, no, Jack, I, I haven't. Well, you're not going to start fixing my car until you learn how. Oh, but I do want to learn, Jack. Could you show me how? Please, please, please. Well, maybe I can with you. Just so happens I was going to tell a story about Edgar anyway. Edgar? Who's Edgar? Well, you play Winky Dink along with the other boys and girls at home who have their Winky Dink kits. And you'll see. Okay. Now, boys and girls, whoever has the magic red crayon, I want you to come on up to the magic window right now. That's right. Come on up here because it's your turn to draw. That's right. Now, Edgar is a shiny red automobile, and you're going at home. You're going to make them. Yes, you are. Now, what I want you to do is take your magic red crayon and put it right up against my finger. Would you do that? Right here. Okay? You're ready to follow me now? I'm going to go slowly and draw a line across here. And you come right along with me, okay? That's fine. This is going to be the nicest automobile, and we're going to have a swell trip. Have you got that line? All right, now come on down here. That's fine. Of course, if you don't have a Winky Dink kit, you really can't have as much fun because you can't draw along with us. Follow my line. So I hope that you'll send for your Winky Dink kit right after the program today. And when you get yours, you'll be able to have the fun of drawing and knowing exactly what's going on. You following right along with me, boys and girls? That's right. All the way up to the top now. That's right. Gee, I think you're doing a fine job. Just follow my finger. Well, we're coming along pretty good now. Now, let's put a line in here, boys and girls, from my finger. Follow my finger. Right down here. Very good. Here's another one. A line right down here. This looks something like the car that my wife has sold to Mike Oppenheimer. Yeah, it's a fine car. We're going to have a lot of fun with this car, boys and girls. Now I think we need some wheels, don't we? car can't run without wheels, so put your magic black crayon right here. And go right around here. That's right. One circle there. And make another circle over here. Right here. Hope I'm not going too fast for you. What you do need very important now is to have a steering wheel right here. Put a line there and a line on top of it. Just like a T. You know a letter T, a line there, and then a line over there. I'll give you a moment to do that. The steering wheel is very important for the story. And one other thing, you might put a little circle in here for a horn. Edgar needs a horn right in here. That's fine. Gee whiz, you've done a wonderful job. I wish my car looked as nice as Edgar. Edgar looks very nice, Jack. But how do you know he can run? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, we're going on a trip with Edgar. And all it takes is a little winky-dink magic. Now, boys and girls, you all remember the magic word, winko. Now, I'm going to step out of here, and I'm going to count to three. And when I say three, I want you to say the magic word with me, all right? One, two, three. Winko! And here we are at Edgar's garage. 
Edgar the Auto should have been the happiest auto in the world. He had the roundest wheels, the shiniest body, and the loudest horn of any automobile in the world. But he wasn't happy. He wanted to travel faster than any auto had ever gone before. So he started his motor and chugged out of the garage. Oh, we forgot to open the garage door for Edgar. He continued across the road, knocking over a telegraph pole that was in his way. But it still wasn't fast enough for him. He thought that maybe if he had roller skates, he'd be able to go faster. Let's see if it works, boys and girls. Get your black crayons out, come on up to the magic window, and draw a roller skate on each wheel. Right under each wheel, draw a little circle, and that'll be the roller skates, and maybe it'll help him. It sounds silly, I know, but maybe it will help him, and we certainly want to help Edgar, don't we? So draw two little wheels under each of Edgar's wheels. That's right, boys and girls. That's fine. Have you got those two little wheels finished? All right, Edgar's ready to go again. Well, he tried the roller skates, and he went faster and faster and faster through a forest, blazing a trail through the trees. And he even went so fast, he made his own tunnel in the side of a mountain. But it still wasn't fast enough for Edgar the Old. Edgar thought that if he had a boat, he could go faster than any automobile had ever gone before. Let's see if it works, boys and girls. Get your black crayon and draw a boat under Edgar. The same size as Edgar, but right underneath him. Any kind of a boat you'd like to draw. That's right, use your imagination, boys and girls. Make sure there are no leaks in it. A boat has to be real strong to carry an auto, you know. You got that boat? Just make any kind of a boat you like right underneath Edgar. Say, that's as fine a boat as I've ever seen. All set, let's see how well he goes now. And now Edgar's boat was on the river. It went faster than any other boat, faster than cars on the Riverside Road, and faster than the trains going by. Ah, yes. But it still wasn't fast enough for Edgar. I tell you what, Edgar thinks that if he had a propeller in front, like an airplane, he could go faster. Let's find out. Got your black crayon? Draw a propeller right in front of Edgar. You know what a propeller looks like, boys and girls, like a figure eight. Just the same kind of propeller you see in front of airplanes. Draw it right on there. I wonder if this will work. Draw that figure eight right in front of Edgar the Auto. Oh, here we go again. Faster, faster, so fast that he left the road and flew through the air. And he flew so fast he knocked the chimney off the house. He went faster than any automobile had gone before, but it still wasn't fast enough for him. I'm carrying too much weight, Edgar thought. Well, that might be true. Boys and girls, get out your racing cloth and erase the boat, the skates, and the wheels. Leave everything else but erase the boat, the skates, and the wheels. Don't leave a bit of them. All of them off the boat, the skates, and the wheels, but leave the rest and we'll see if Edgar is right. Hurry up, boys and girls. It's very important as Edgar is anxious to get going, and it's up to you to let him go and to make him go faster. All finished? Fine. Well, here we go again. And he went so fast that he took the feathers off a flock of geese. Yes, boys and girls. And then he hit the bell on a church steeple, and it rang and rang. Faster and faster he went. So fast that when he went through a field of corn, it popped. But it still wasn't fast enough for Edgar. I'm still too heavy, Edgar said. I think Edgar is silly, boys and girls, but let's erase the body and the propeller. Erase the body and leave the steering wheel. Just leave the steering wheel and erase the body and the propeller. Who ever heard of a steering wheel going through the air by itself? But that's what Edgar wants, so let's do it again. All right, here we go again, boys and girls. And there he just zipped by faster than a rocket ship. All anyone could feel was a breeze. But it still wasn't fast enough for Edgar. I'm too heavy, he shouted. I'm too heavy. Well, I hope he knows what he's doing. All that's left is the steering wheel, but let's erase the steering wheel. Get it off, boys and girls. Quickly, hurry now. It's very important. Edgar wants to go even faster. Get the steering wheel off. You have it all erased? Fine, that didn't take long, did it? And we're off again. And Edgar traveled so fast that he just disappeared. And all that was left was the sound of an automobile's horn. <laughs> and now, boys and girls, when you hear a horn sometimes and you don't see the car, do you know? It might be Edgar. <laughs> well, I sure enjoyed that story of Edgar. Didn't you? Huh? It was a funny one. Now, I tell you what. If you had your Winky Dink kits and played along with us, well, there's no reason for any of us to miss all the fun. It's so easy to get your Winky Dink kits. And you know something? The fun starts as soon as you get your kit. Of course, you can watch the program without a kit, but you can't really be a part of the program without them. 
And you can't have the fun that the boys and girls who have their winky ding kits do have. Now, I know you're just used to watching television shows, and you just sit back and watch all the other shows, but not this show. This show, you really get a chance to be a part of because it's different. You get a chance at home to play right along with us, and what you at home draw actually becomes part of the program. But to be a part of the show, you must have one of our winky ding kits. The kit gives you four magic crayons, a black one, a red one, a yellow one, and a green one. You get an erasing cloth, which can be washed, and a magic window, which is made out of a special plastic just for this program. Now, boys and girls, you must have this kit, and here's how you get it. Mark down the address, will you? Okay. To get your Winky Ding kit for yourself or for your friends, you send 50 cents, boys and girls. Send 50 cents. Got that? 50 cents with your name and address, and send it to Winky Dink, Box 5, New York 19, New York. Now, I do hope you'll all get your Winky Ding kits right away and have fun with those boys and girls who do have their kits because you really can't have as much fun as if you have a kit. Remember, boys and girls, if you want a Winky Ding kit, send 50 cents with your name and address to Winky Ding, Box 5, New York, 19. Oh, a fine fella you are, Jack. What are you complaining about now, Winky? You, you said we play all sorts of different games. Well, we're going to play a different game right now if you'll be quiet. Now, the boys and girls who have their kits can play this game with me. Today, it's going to be something just a little different. Whatever can it be? Quiet. Oh, we're going to draw a quiet. Yes, we're going to draw a quiet. No, no, no. Oh, no. uh, we're going to draw a noise, then? Yes, we're going to draw a no, 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 Winky. Oh, we're going to draw a no, no, no. Winky. Yes, Jack. Would you mind running down to the corner of Pet Shop and getting a dozen goldfish? <laughs> All right, Jack. I'll see you later. All right, good. Now, whoever has the magic red crayon, I want you to come up to the magic window. Come on up here. That's right. And you're ready to draw. I want you to put your magic red crayon right where my finger is right here. You ready? And we're going to draw, and it's going to be a surprise. Now, here we go, boys and girls. Follow me right around. Right up to the top there. And now, all the way down. And this will be a very, very big surprise at the end. That's right. Got that? Now, down here. Now, over. Gee, if you had your Winky Ding kits, you know, you could be doing this with us. Otherwise, you just have to sit and you just don't know what's going on. It's so much more fun if you have a Winky Ding kit, so make sure to send for yours right after the program. There we are. Now, you boys and girls who have your Winky Ding kits can see what you've drawn, can't you? But all we need for it is some fish. And, of course, that takes a little Winky Ding magic to see the fish in what you've drawn. So if you'll get ready, I'll step out of here and we'll say the magic words. One, two, three, Winko! And there are the goldfish in what the boys and girls drew. Ha! Huh, fish! What's so great about fish? That's not such a great magic trick. Oh, no? Well, I'll show you something else then. Fish disappear. <laughs> well, now, I'll show you. Dallas, we're going to show that winky, boys and girls. I want you to leave on what you drew, and we'll add something to it. Now, this is going to call for some really super magic. So, got your magic red crayons? Come on at the magic window again, and follow my finger. Put your magic crayon right there, and draw a line here, and down here, and over here. Got that? All right. And now draw another one right here. Follow this sort of lap circle right around here. All right. Now, one more, a, a sort of upside down half circle here. Very good. That's fine. That's swell. Now, see, Winky? We've taken the drawing, and with a few lines, we've changed it into something completely different. It's something that I can get tea from. Is it a grocery store? No, it's not a grocery store. Well, I don't see any tea. Well, you will in a moment. I'm going to step out of here, say the magic words. One, two, three, Winko! And it's a very simple matter to get tea from what the boys and girls drew. Uh, I, uh, I'd like some tea, please, if I may. May I have some tea? Oh, th oh, swell. I got some tea and so did my shoe. Very good. Oh, more tea. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Gee, oh, where's Arthur Godfrey? You'll love us all on this program. Yes, he will. This is what you call drip tea, boys and girls. It dripped right out. I think you've done a fine job. How do you like that for magic, Winky? Magic. Ha, 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 ha. Anyone can make tea. Oh, really? Well, suppose the boys and girls gave me a person to drink the tea with. Oh, that would be magic. All right, then. Tea? Disappear. Yeah, very good. All right, boys and girls. Now, I need your help. We're going to show Winky some real magic. So whoever has the magic black crayon, come on up to the magic window and get ready to draw. Put your magic black crayon against my finger right here, okay? And follow it carefully all around. Follow it all around. That's a big circle. And now a smaller circle in the center. 
Got that? All right, now how about over here, a little sort of a half circle? Very good, fine. And now we're almost finished. Just follow me around here. Put some little ruffles here, okay? Yes, sir. Gee, that's fine. Just about does it. Very good. Good. That's fine. Fine. Hmm. Now I'm going to have somebody to drink tea with. Yes, indeed. But I'll say the magic word and we go. Goody, goody, goody. If there's anything I love, it's a tea party. Well, that's exactly what we're going to have. A tea party, ma'am. Oh, good, good, good. Yes, indeed. I think I'll entertain. Oh, swell. that we can do some Winky Dink magic. Let's get on with this tea party. Let's just get this over with. I'll say the magic word. Winko! Oh, my goodness. There we are. Well, boys and girls, you know who it was that I had tea with. And on your magic windows right now, there's an almost finished picture of my company for tea. I tell you, why don't you finish the picture a little later after the program? You can finish it on a table in your home after you've taken down your magic window. I tell you what you do. Peel off your magic window right now, just as our friend Helen is doing. Take a look at her and do just as Helen does. That's right, take it off, show it to your parents, and then a little later you can do some drawing on it. After they've seen it, make sure that your magic window is nice and clean and clear. That's right. Of course, it's very easy to get your Winky Dink Kid boys and girls. All you have to do is send us 50 cents with your name and address, very simple, and that's all there is to it. 50 cents with your name and address. Now, in every kit, there's a plastic window made especially for this program. That's right, it's made especially for the Winky Dink Show. Now, you'll get a box of especially made crayons, a special member, they're special oils and dyed, and they're magic, and they're prepared just for the Winky Dink kits, made just for it. Now, if you don't have your kit yet, I'm sure you'll want to get one. You must if you want to have all the fun in this program. Next week, we're going to go exploring underwater in a submarine which you at home will draw. So I hope you'll join us in the fun. When you get your kit, you'll be able to play along with us instead of just watching. And it's so easy to get your kit, too. Sure it is, Winky. All you have to do is this. Address an envelope. Address an envelope to Winky Dink, Box 5, New York 19. That's it. Then on a piece of paper, write your name and address. Attach 50 cents to the piece of paper. Drop it into this envelope or your envelope at home and mail it. Now, we'll do the rest, and believe me, you'll love it. Now, don't forget to get your Super Magic Winky Dink kit. Make sure you send for it in a hurry. Tell your parents about it. I know they'll be glad to do it for you. Remember, a Winky Dink kit's a wonderful birthday present for your friends, so send for it right away. To get your Winky Dink kit, all you do is send 50 cents with your name and address and send it to Winky Dink, Box 5, New York 19. Well, boys and girls, that's it. We'll be back again next week with another program. And don't forget, I'll see you on Juvenile Jury on Sunday. Bye, boys and girls. Bye.